So this is a question I get more than any other question on this channel. And I've done some videos to cover the topic before, like my one big sub versus two small subs and all that stuff. But I wanted to make a video specifically on the importance of going duals. And I'm actually gonna have a bit of a mic drop at the end that I think really hammers at home. Um, and I think the question isn't whether it's better, but how important it is to go with dual subs. Now, Swiss cheese base is a term I use to describe what I heard when I went back to a single. And it's really hard to explain because you don't know what you don't know. But with a single sub, there was missing elements to it. So, I, you know, I, I went to duels and then for about a week I went back to a single, okay? And then I was missing little things, little, little bits of bass were missing. And then when I got duels, they were back. Okay, and it was like these little holes in the response. It was either gone or just muted. And it was a really hard thing to explain. So I came up with the term of Swiss cheese base to explain it. And it's, it's a lot easier to identify Swiss cheese base when you're going backwards. So after you've listened to duels for a while and you've listened to some familiar content, you can switch or you can turn one sub off and then listen for those little bits of missing bass. And that's how I came up with the term for that because it was just it's really odd to me. It's just like, well, I know there's something usually there. And again, you don't know what you don't know. So if, you, if you're missing it and you don't know you're missing it, you know, it's, it's hard to identify. Uh, you know, when I first heard dual subs, I expected it to be a better, of course. I think that's kind of settled. Like everyone knows duels are better. Okay, and uh, this was back before I became an SVS affiliate and it was with their PB1000s. And it's funny because, you know, that, that's a 10 inch driver uh, that I'm, I'm really quite fond of. It, it goes deeper than most 15s out there. Uh, it has a much deeper presentation. But, you know, not all of the benefits can be measured with duels. Uh, a lot of the response I got from people that came over and listened was this sounds just more like a theater and they couldn't really articulate it it just felt more like a theater it was just more impactful everything was it was just better in a way that even i can't really quite describe and i've been doing this for a while it, it's just it's it's not anything i can actually measure uh, i mean obviously you get a little bit more output so you get a little bit more headroom and things like that but all of the benefits aren't quite measurable, you know, and I, and I didn't understand how important it was. You know, my assumption before hearing it was that it was an audiophile thing, okay? Better, but, you know, probably not substantially. You know, it's, it's something people with a lot of money can do. It's not super important. That was, that was my opinion of it, okay? Um, you know, power and depth of presentation are really important to me. You know, it's... It, you, you have to have the power to back up the bass and you have to have the depth of presentation to deliver the bass that everyone, whether they know it or not, wants to hear. Uh, it's, it's, so those things are important, you know, the power and, and the depth of presentation. But that said, if you're looking at any subwoofer on the list, um, I would split your budget rather than getting one, okay? And that may sound like a compromise. You know, my own instinct, you know, Back before I started this channel, my own instinct was to get the biggest possible subwoofer I could afford. It makes sense. It's, it makes sense in your mind that that's what you want. You want this big bass sound, obviously get the biggest subwoofer you can afford, which makes sense so long as you can get duels. <laughs> if you're going with a single, honestly, split your budget. Uh, it's, you know, I, I'm fortunate I'm able to listen to some of the best subwoofers on the planet, okay? The, the PB16 Ultras here, I mean, they dig so deep, and the impact is like nothing I've ever heard. It's it's an undeniable departure from the norm. If you were to, you know, if you've never heard bass like this, and you go and you hear it somewhere, you wouldn't be able to say, well, yeah, it's just like everything else. No way. You couldn't possibly say that. It is really a departure, and it's, it's amazing, okay? Um, yeah, I, I think the PB16 Ultra is a very near bass perfection, if there is such a thing. You know, it, bass is, is always difficult. I mean, I started a whole channel on it. <laughs> but the PB16 Ultras are just absolutely amazing. They're delicate when they're supposed to be delicate, and they kick you in the chest when they're supposed to kick you in the chest. I mean, I, I love them. So I don't want that to be misconstrued. 
Uh, but because when they first came out, they were only able to send out one sub, okay? So for about two months, I only had a single PB16 Ultra. I still had dual PB2000s at the time. And I tried to integrate the three to play well together and I just couldn't get it to where it sounded the way I wanted. I wasn't satisfied running all three together. Uh, if they were all three the same sub, it'd be no problem, but I think it was the difference in driver size or whatever it was caused, caused some weird cancellations. And I just didn't, I, it wasn't good. And that's neither of the sub's fault. I mean, the PB2000s are, you know, one of my favorite subwoofers. I recommend them more than anything else, okay? Uh, so I kind of had a choice. I could either run the dual PB2000s I had over in the corner, or I could run the single PB16 Ultra. Just like my previous video, one big sub versus two small subs, I preferred the two smaller subs. Uh, that's the benefit that you get when going with duals. Uh, it's not that the PB16 Ultra isn't good enough. Uh, I, I think it absolutely is. I just think that if you're going to go with the PB16 Ultra, you really need to go with duals. Um, I made that a big point in my you know, review of the PB16 Ultra. Uh, I think it's, you know, it's a $5,000 base budget sub. And, you know, it's subwoofer for the connoisseur of base. I mean, it is just really impressive uh, and all these things, but, you know, really uh, splitting your budget and getting something from the list, uh, I think is going to give you the best overall experience because of the effect of dual subs. And so, you know, it shouldn't be that surprising based on my previous videos uh, on two versus one. It's just a different price scale, a uh, different performance range, but still the overall same impact. Uh, duels just do bass better. And so that's one thing I had to re-edit this video and talk about because I think I really uh, gave the wrong impression. Uh, so truly, the magic happened when I got the second PB16 Ultra. That's when everything came together and I'm like, oh, wow, this is what these subs can really do. That was, it was the game changer when I went to match duels. So I'm a big fan of match subs. Um, you know, it, it's, it's important, I think. It, it just, everything just comes together so much nicer and it's just, you really hear everything that the sub can truly do. I will not review any subwoofer anymore on this channel unless they're duels. Uh, I made a, I've, I've kept that rule from the beginning and it, it's gonna stay because I can't hear everything unless I can hear both subs because they they bring together uh, the sound. They, they reduce that standing wave effect and you can just hear everything. You can't hear everything with just a single sub. It's just, you can get close, but it's, there's just a difference and plus there's the difference that's not even measurable that I talked about earlier. I just, that I can't describe fully, but it's just so much better. Um, and. Also, I've had this question a lot. Some people say, well, I live in an apartment. I can't have duels. If I moved into an apartment, I would still have dual subwoofers without hesitation. Uh, with a single sub, you get that standing wave effect, so you get some, some stuff you can't hear. <laughs> but here's the thing, your neighbors still can. So you may be trying to turn it up to hear something, and because you're in a dead spot in the room because of the single subwoofer, your neighbor's hearing it loud and clear, but you can't hear it. And that's the standing wave effect, and there's nothing you can do. It doesn't matter how big the sub is, it's not gonna be able to knock down that standing wave on its own. You need a second sub. I'm gonna try and get a visualization of this going in the future. I really wanna do that, but anyway, if I gave you the link to this video, it's because I understand the logic. But dual subs make that much of a difference. And like I said, so long as you stick to the subwoofers on the list, duels are 100% the way to go. Uh, and another point to that is if I wouldn't be willing to live with a subwoofer myself, given all the different subwoofers I've heard so far, it will not be on the list, okay? Uh, I still think the PB1000s are the smartest buy in base. You know, it's the only 10 inch sub you'll find on the list, but they have a deeper presentation than most 15 inch subs. Plus you still have the one year trade up period, and that gives you some wiggle room if you get the upgrade itis that is known to, you know, happen in this industry. Uh, you get the, that itch to upgrade. And, you know, if you can only afford dual PB1000s, 
uh, you can upgrade to anything better in the SVS line. Uh, the only thing you pay is uh, shipping. Otherwise, uh, you know, it's the only time the SVS asks you to pay for shipping. Otherwise, it's always free shipping. But uh, so if you if you you know spent, I think it's nine fifty for dual PB one thousands. Within a year, you could apply that full nine fifty less shipping towards PB two thousands or or anything better within the SVS line. So. It really, that's why I consider it the smartest buy-in base because you're getting into dual subs, you're getting into really great performing base. And if you have the itch to upgrade, you can, you know? It, but I've had a lot of people tell me that there's no reason I would ever need anything more than PB1000s and I understand their point. Uh, they really are impressive. Uh, if they weren't, they wouldn't be on the list. Um, and to that point, I will be adding three more subwoofers to the list very soon. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but hopefully this helps you decide on whether you should go dual. I honestly hope that I never go back to a single. Uh, I've done it twice now. I didn't like it either time. <laughs> I want a duals back. It's, it's that important. Um, and so if you guys, if you're watching this video and you have dual subs and you understand what I'm talking about, please sound off in the comments below. You know, this is a really big step for some people. In my opinion, only goes so far. You know, I can say all this and that's fine and dandy, but if I've got people down in the comments backing me up on this, I think it'll really help some people make that step. Uh, so anyway, guys, uh, looks like Angel's done with the video and so am I. So thanks for watching and please subscribe.